Hello everybody, Hyper Mario Sunshine here, and today, early in the morning, the English trailer dropped, uh, the overview trailer dropped, and we also have an update to the Japanese website, a lot of new screenshots, and also a lot of uh, companies uh, and reviewers are getting their copies from IGN to uh, Nintendo Life, etc. We have, uh, oh, and VGC as well, uh, they're all getting review copies and showing review footage. Obviously, there's stuff that they cannot show, and IGN has confirmed that there's stuff Nintendo did not want them showing, so likely any new additions, any new information uh, to the game, so we are likely getting something new that is going to surprise us. So, let us first take a look. Uh, I do have the Japanese website here, I do have a few screenshots opened, and uh, we do have the fit some gameplay from Nintendo Life. There's also some other people as well that have likely had, uh... Oh yeah, we do have CG Ma Magazine, who has the first 15 minutes. And we also have... The English Overview Trailer. So yeah, a lot of uh, people are getting uh, review copies, we're getting some new uh, footage... Some of them are going over different chapters, some of them are going over different parts and, you know, having their own, and showing different gameplay aspects, so, it's, uh, it's really good so far for what we're getting, and, uh, we're really, really close to the, the, uh, release date. He's Mario and he's paper? So... Uh, real quick, I actually was right about this in my last video about Paper Mario Thousand Year Door when the uh, Japanese overview trailer came out. It's actually the same guy that did the Japanese commercials, like the bit, the, and also, like, it referenced the commercials, uh, of Paper Mario performing each of his, like, moves and, like, real-life objects and whatnot. Like, it was just this giant Paper Mario. I think I will link some of those, uh, old tr commercials, uh, old Japanese commercials in the description below to give that example. So we see that everything's bought back. We see that there's new, uh, like in the cutscene going to Glitz Pit, uh, Glitz to Glitzville, excuse me. That uh, yeah, they even given up close and even show Mario like looking forward to the to see if it's nearby. This is my first time watching the English one, so the narrator. I've heard people have mixed opinions on him. Also, the music is really, really good. And again, like, the animations, like, they even updated how Beldum is with her, uh, Robon. A storybook of adventure unfolds. So, yeah, they, it's definitely... It looks really good. I love the different camera angles, like when they're more far zoomed out or much more closer. Even the angled ones, too. It really adds a lot more depth. You know, yeah, like this, for example, here. Like, really helps you know where uh, the things are. Like, any single, like, little things that are required. Like, again, let's look back here. We could see, uh... The angled here, you actually see King K and, uh, I think it's Bandy Andy, uh, flattened. I could be wrong about his name, though. I, for I honestly forgot. And yeah, they are using Charles Martinet's voice, as we already know. So yeah, we do see some early scene footage. We do have some partners. So it even has the appearances of these. So it's kind of like a Pokédex in a way now. Like, even more like a Pokédex. Uh, and as we mentioned before, as a photo, it has Goombella, what she's written on it. So like, even if you're not looking at what she's saying, you can always look at a quick... Uh, the quick little uh, HP attack and defense that are here. The shy yet determined coops, who can ram enemies 
Also, Rogueport sounds so good. Those trumpets are really grand. Yeah, they did not show Vivian, as I mentioned uh, beforehand. So I saw someone mention that the that is just as fast as the like going through like the pause screen to switch over. Yeah, Duplis looks so good there. His voice actually sounds really good too. Theater edition, yeah, it does yeah, they do point out how it's much more like a theater. And uh yeah, they show the badges of once again of uh, this guy's using multi bounce. Some of this footage we have seen before, so they're reusing some of it, because obviously they don't want to show off everything. There's Quake Hammer, and I really love the lighting and details over here, like how the where like the spotlight doesn't shine, it's just like much more darkened. And you can see like the shadows for like each little leaves, like where they're covering, and it's like how faded they are. Like the closer you get in, it's more dark. The more, more further you get out, it's more it's much more lighter of a shadow, and it looks really, really good. I really like how the uh, the star animation is now. So we do have we do see quite a few bats. We have defense plus. I thought it was defense plus, but I guess like they changed. I could be wrong though. I thought it was defense plus, but I think defend plus was the original name. Damage dodge. We got attack G FXG. Close call. Power bounce. So this is much later in the game in the Rogue Port when uh, a lot of Bowser's minions are underground. Well, so yeah, the, yeah I, Shy Guy now actually pulls like the levers and whatnot instead of just running off to the side. More paper, more fun. So yeah, it's still named the Pianta Parlo Parlor, and also we could see here that the slot machine has changed to be more like the Super Mario Brothers three slots. So they're not necessarily traditional slot machines anymore, but more so like you know that game. So I really like the sound effects of those. The Pit of a Hundred Trials does now have a save block and a heart block so you could easily see you could easily uh save your game uh tr keep trying to put up 100 trials or you go to a certain floor come back heal up and get like the items you need it's really really handy that they uh add this in it's a really good quality of life change and there are some more quality of life changes we are going to go through Oh, okay, so yeah, Star Pieces and Shine Sprites are likely going to be doing more than just upgrading your party members, but they're also going to be upgrading your... Well, they're also going to be adding more to the art gallery and concept art gallery and and whatnot. Uh, also, concept art here, we could see these are pretty, pretty old. These are from all the way back from 2004. We have not seen these ever, and uh, this is Madame Fleury's beta design, like, they tried going through, like, multiple things, they even made it, like, a bird with a cowboy hat, they made it, like, a, a, a bulb bulb, I just remember the names of them, and, uh, yeah, they, like, it blows wind, which makes sense, like, the propel, the flowers of propeller, uh, they did originally have the cloud design, I guess it's more akin to, like, how the cloud monster was from Yoshi's Story, I forgot the name of it, like, the cotton candy looking guy, uh, but then obviously we see one of Flurry's uh, older designs here. Uh, she definitely had a, I don't know, like, you can see her, uh, I don't know how to describe it. I guess her face cheeks are more like, I don't know, it feels like she had more plastic surgery done on her in the in her uh, concept art. Uh, we can see the multiple Duplis designs, the pigs, uh, 
in Twilight Town, they were more akin to pigs instead of like being more rounded, similar to how they were in Paper Mario on the N64. And yeah, we are getting new music as well. The Goombella here is the a theme for her introduction. We do have multiple new songs. They're going to be appearing. Also, I realized you don't have to check the bushes anymore. You could actually just hammer them, uh, as we can see here, because usually you just shake the bushes, but now you could just slam them with your hammer and reveal them. Yeah, uh, Professor Frankly's face. Finally, a fourth first look at Cortez, I believe. I really love Mario's, uh... Oh, yeah. Let's see here. Uh, his expressions here, so, so, so are Yoshi's, are hilarious. You actually see a lot of the, uh... The passengers on the cabin, uh... Here, how their, their reactions to being taken. Uh, Flurry's face here, yeah, you see her face is less, like... Oh, yeah, her lipstick. I believe her lipstick changed. I could be wrong from the concept art. I don't know what they did. I guess they're more like... It felt more like she had more plastic surgery done on her. And her beads were uh, blue instead of uh, yellow. Also, we could finally see that uh, the, the mayor of Petalburg. You can actually see that his wife... His pictures are there a lot more clear in how he was when he was younger. He saw those... Uh, those big eyebrows that he has here. And yeah, the toad here does uh, a bit more animation uh, when he, uh, to the, the conductor toad, uh, salutes. We are four weeks away. As uh, mentioned beforehand, uh, I do have a notification. Okay, nothing uh, important. Okay, so... Next up, I what I want to go over is this little screenshot over here. Specifically this. So yeah, from DD Alio to uh it seems that Beldum is more transphobic in the English script. The might of the three shadows, relation withheld, will be more than enough to win the day. And the original So yeah, they did do some script changes. As it's confirmed uh from previous trailers with like uh Goombella used to she used to be the one saying that the thousand year door needed the seven crystal stars now it's Professor Frankly and now uh, here's another example that uh, this is a Beldum's original line from thousand year door and on the GameCube and this is the one on the switch there is more of this uh, for example the Goombas instead of hitting on Goombella they both they're both uh, talking uh, shit to them uh, about how they live above and like how they get to breathe fresh air and see the light and uh they're you know they're more badass and they're underground and like you know they're, they're calling them like inferior like oh you guys get to have this well we get to live underground like that that kind of stuff so they changed that i personally am neutral towards this i know some people uh are happy that this was removed because cat calling uh some people are a little bit disappointed I've seen both, so... Uh, yeah, there are some script changes. Next, I want to go over the Japanese website. It got updated. So, we have characters. Uh, I don't know if I could get this all translated. I wish that there was an English version of the site. But, uh, yeah, you, this is the character page. You can go over and see that Mario is our main character. And there's little uh, icons, like little miniature icons of them. And they look so cute. They have like little... Ch it's like a chibi version of the paper the, the or paper sprites. And we have Goombella next. Gives a little description of her character. I believe this shows a little video as well. A little bit of their introductions. Yeah, and it shows off their abilities. There's Goombella using Tattle. And you actually could see more. And also this toad here... This new toad is a battle tip he character, so it's basically similar to the or similar to the Origami King. Uh, so I thought it was gonna be like a brand new character and like show off new side quests and whatnot. Uh, let's see Mario here if there's any new footage. We've seen some of this before. We're seeing him hammer through uh, a lot of the dull bones.
And we do see the pink fuzzies as well. And next up, Coops. So we don't have Miss Mouse, Vivian, or Bobbery here. So they kind of just want to limit it to the first. Kind of like, almost kind of like the original Paper Mario 2 demo, where it showed these three first. But I guess they showed Yoshi as well, because he's a very popular uh, pick. We have Coops here. Obviously, they show off his uh, Shell Toss. Power Shell. A very short. Wow, I was expecting a little bit more. Now, Madam Flurry, so the, they have her room now. It looks a lot more... Uh, the lighting looks really great in here. And yeah, there she goes. That, that's uh, one of the moves to blow away the enemies. So basically free XP. Uh, again, very short. Next up... Yoshi. This is his introduction. Does show him crossing the gaps with the block the block here. And yeah, does, they kind of do spoil how to beat the armored uh I mean then again you you automatically do have to use Yoshi in that fight, so the uh, armored uh bros there are uh easily defeated by them. We do have more screenshots for our villains here, including the Shadow Sirens, Grotus, and Lord Crump. We do have Peach with Tech here. Oh, there's the potion scene. So yeah, this is when she's becoming invisible uh, after the... Uh, this is an epilogue, I believe, for Chapter 3 or Chapter 4. I think, I believe it's Chapter... Wait, because I know ch the after Chapter 1 is when you're introduced to Tech. After Chapter 2 is the dance. Chapter 3, I believe, is this part. I could be mistaken, though. We got Bowser and Cammy next. I believe I saw footage of, uh... You could actually hit them with your fire breath now. The, uh... The Koopa Trolls and Hammer Bros are around. And we do have new renders for Flavio. We have for, uh, Pennington. Wait. Am I... Is it, um, unless I'm saying the Paper Mario 64 character instead. Uh, Koopy Koo and Punio. Well, actually, I think that's just regular Puny, because Punio has the green. Got some more screenshots here. Miss Mouse looks awesome here she's got a new pose looking very much like stylish and and uh kind of reminds me a lot of like catwoman in a way with like her personality uh i mean honestly she kind of is playing off that trope of catwoman uh you know thief that is flirting with the protagonist and does a lot of cool stunts that you wouldn't expect them to do uh we got the more of the glitz pit here the stage and i love the angle for this i love the lighting it really makes it look like you're watching a tv show uh you have don pianta over here he's got his arms crossed so a lot more expressiveness from him as well it's the first time we're seeing piantas in a long time i believe uh i could be mistaken if there's any other uh, oh yeah the i guess 3d all-stars but yeah like i guess in like a new like additional stuff because 3d all-stars is just like an, an hd port of super mario sunshine rather than like a full-on remake uh, so yeah, we haven't really seen Piantas in a while in any new fashion. We do have this guy. He's the guy that flirts on Goombella. I think he, I believe people still found out that he does still flirt with Goombella, so, uh, there's that. So I guess that changed. And, oh, I love how the mayor of Twilight Town looks here. And also, Toadette keeps her original design here from Thousand Year Door as well. With the, uh, pink jacket instead of the, uh, well, pink jacket and pink shirt instead of the, uh, white one. So yeah, everything's looking really good. I love the wind, like how it shows like the light coming through the windows here. And uh, there's Jolene. Uh, that's her like little disguise outfit, like how she looks without her suit and whatnot. I actually did not know this. I thought this was someone that looked like Jolene, but no, this is actually her off duty and just being undercover. And I did not know that for the longest time. Like I found that, I was like, what? <laughs> I can't, like after 19 years, I did not know. And we have Luigi here. Uh, I don't know what he's saying here, actually. I guess he might be telling his story here. His head does look a little bit off here. I guess he's telling his story here. I can't really read it, obviously, because it's in Japanese. But yeah, his uh, sprite's a little off. Although, maybe that's just how it is. I guess, you, you, uh, like, if anybody knew how to read Japanese, I don't. But if, I guess this would be uh, him saying his story. I wonder why they would make that so prominent, but again, I don't want to theorize or get my hopes up that there's going to be a, a Luigi side story. So next up, we're going to be clicking on the Koops icon here. Uh, this brings us to the field. 
We've got a lot more renders here. Uh, I do wonder, I think that we're going to get an American website of this, specifically because uh, Nintendo likes to do that, and also because uh, it'll help with uh, my Nintendo points, so obviously if we were to find like any hidden, like let's say, punies or crystal stars or star pieces, for example, uh, that would be a way to to like give us those 100 points if we find all of them. So I think we are eventually going to get an English website. So we got a lot more screenshots here. We got Poshley Heights, the Sanctum. I finally remembered the name. It's the it's the uh, Sanctum there. Uh, we do have Glitz Pit. It does look so. It's a lot more inspired by a Chinese uh, city because uh, that's like the whole uh, like it's like a dojo here in a way, and it's like a cat. Like you have your cafes and whatnot. Uh, the shops are very much like Asian, like Chinese, Japanese, uh, in a way. And the theme there actually makes up for it, too, because the theme it, uh, was given like a Ninja Studios flair, like an autumn Ninja Studios flair from the Origami King. So yeah, we got... Uh, the lighting here looks amazing, how it's just shining... The, the sun rays are coming down. Got a lot more of the uh, Riverside Station here. A lot more use of Mario's Hammer. There's the Super Hammer as well. So they're not showing off the Ultra Hammer for obvious reasons. We do have the Ground Pound showing off as well and the Ultra Jump. I guess because they didn't show this Ultra Hammer because of... Uh, it does, basically does the same thing except on like much more difficult to break blocks. It does show off the different uh, paper mechanics we shall be using. And they have the red blocks are returning for any uh, badge-related stuff. Badge-related uh, blocks. Uh, we do have the Shine Sprite over here. So yeah, a lot of the bad the placements are still very much the same. The quick change options, as we can see here, there's giving us two examples. Cabela does give advice, yes. Do have some more screenshots here as well of places we could go to. Uh, there's Flavio here, we got the entire little town here. Uh, again, there's that toad who gives you a battle tip advice. Got Bulb, Bulb, Bulb over there. We do have the the Babam family. Again, this does look a lot more like an Asian city. Uh, what do you expect from it? With all the billboards and like uh, the more uh, the aesthetic of it as well, like the uh, atmosphere definitely fits it more. And there's once again, uh, Poshley Heights. Uh, I could. Oh my god! I can't believe I'm so rusty on my thousand year door because I purposefully did not play replay the game in a while because uh, i was trying to go through each uh mario luigi paper mario and super mario pg like one by one and then obviously the remake was announced and i decided not to play and there's the uh traveling uh toad uh toad sisters and uh there's the uh pasta shop over there and uh, i love the more snow effects this guy's actually like buried in the snow i love the i love the additional detailing there makes it feel like there's actually snow there actually not actually like more like there's snow like the snow's more uh i guess interactable oh wait technically it is because the i remember that there's some parts where the snow gets kind of heavy you can't really jump and move that as fast we do have merlin here or merlin here he's got a new render we got zesty stuff we could do in rogueport we got the bad shop and there's miss mouse without her uh her alter ego out well, I guess her regular normal life. The Pianta Parlor, we do have uh, Lulu, I believe her name is. I know that there's a second one with, like, the bunny ears instead. And this guy's new. He's the, His name is, I think, is Ian Visor or something like that. I could be wrong. Uh, but, yeah, he gives uh, little hints for the uh, help center if you get stuck. Next up is Madame Flurry. This part, we do have the battling portion. We do have Hooktail here, who's one of the bosses. Obviously, we show off. And uh, yeah, they have the Dizzy Dial here. Showing off some more enemies. And also, this guy over here, apparently in Chapter 2, uh, he has a two Jelly Ultras, which you can't really get because the cookbook is in Chapter 4. And also, it seems that... Uh, they got the badge for Hooktail here because of how Hooktail is uh, animated here. But yeah, I want to show that again. The, uh, the the guy here has two Jelly Ultras already. And that That's a little bit off. Uh, action commands are going over and also Mario's uh, moves. You can see that he's hitting a red Magikoopa. 
And yeah, showing off the action commands as well. Got the multi bounce, yes. The Spindias are back, finally. There's one of uh, Koops' uh, upgradable moves. Okay, so obviously they're going to show off uh, defending, but I'm not sure if they're going to show off. Okay, they're not showing off uh, how uh, the other thing works the uh, counter attack. Uh, we do see that the star meter fills up, and yeah, appeals. Yeah, not really much else to see here so far. Oh, that's a little weird. Is that how it actually comes out? Oh, wow, that's actually how it comes out. Okay, so it does show off a bit of the, uh, things we could expect, like the, uh, the usage of the crystal stars. I'm not sure if this is the only one they're showing off. Let me see. Okay, yeah, it is. And we do see two examples here of uh, how the crowd interacts with you, with a uh, shy guy obviously going off to the side and getting items. Oh, we actually see here, behind here is the background for Chapter 8. This is where the Shadow Palace is being, like, this is a pa the Shadow Palace background uh, where you'll be fighting when you get there. So, yeah, we see the tornado jump over here, hammer throw, HP+. Plus. Power Plus. So it's showing how much uh, the badges leveling up system here. Got our star points. We got our uh, HP, FP, and BP to upgradable. Yeah, it's looking really, really good. A lot of details. And yeah, this is the battle tip guy. Uh, shows off with these cardboard Goomba cutouts. And uh, I'm guessing he's teaching you how to do action commands and helping you out. And lastly, let's see what Yoshi here brings us to. I'm going to guess it's going to be like a place to purchase the game. Oh, it's actually the video area. So yeah, the, this is the uh, the initial uh, the uh, the initial tra trailer from the Direct, and this is the latest overview trailer. So I'm guessing those are going to be the only two things, unless they show off like commercials and whatnot. Uh, I doubt it, unless they show off like something last minute or... Uh, Something like that. I honestly have no idea, but... Yeah. Next up. I'm gonna get some more footage here. I love Goombella how she is. Just this, like, upbeat... Like... Character. Oh, yeah, their reactions as well. And, uh, yeah, both of them could look upward now. This is brand new for both of them. And Hooktail's fully in 3D. That looks so cool. Alright. And the music here looks sounds so amazing for Petal Meadows. And the uh, items actually fall out differently too. They don't go from side to side. Like how they did in the uh, original, and uh, also in Paper Mario 64 as well. And also the death uh, sound effect, it comes out, I believe from Sticker Star, specifically. I could be wrong, though. I remember someone pointing it out, it was from Sticker Star. You had no point in using the Power Smash. Oh, they are using stylish commands, though. Oh, I, I just this is giving this is gonna be so giddy. I'm absolutely loving this. Of course, they're going with FP. Oh, they are skipping over a little bit. They're showing off the Thousand Year Door animation. Looking very mystical. I love the uh, the lighting and glowing and the little particle effects as well. It looks absolutely gorgeous. You actually could see a lot more of the map, too. You actually could see it from afar, like every little detail in place. 
Yeah, even colors uh, out where you need to go. That's pretty cool. I wonder if uh, when it updates, it actually shows it off too. And I like how it pops up too. It's like kind of like a pop-up map. Okay, it doesn't really show it off on the map itself, but... Oh, wow, that's brand new. I feel like it has Mario glowing. Like how he catches it now. See, so it's showing off the uh, cutscene where they go back to uh, Professor Frankly's place after the... Uh, oh, so there's a loading screen now. That was really quick to load, though. Really like how more dirty... Uh, Everything looks now in Rogueport. It definitely looks more run down than it did in the original, especially with the uh, better uh, the better graphics here. Professor Frankly's theme looks it just sounds so upbeat and quirky and weird. It just really fits him. Also, the Fire Emblem Toad is back. Is he gonna talk? Yes, he is. Hey, what's up? I gotta say, I've been playing a lot of GBA games lately. There's this one game that just absolutely rules. It's called Fire Emblem. You ever heard of it? Man, it rocks my socks. Also, uh, it seems that uh, General White is looks pretty sad here. Definitely giving him like uh, a lot more of a reason why he probably went off running off to all these places rather than just like looking neutral and not really having anything to worry about. I guess he was probably feeling lonely. Also, pedal... Oh, wow, the Koopa's animation's there. He's like, well, like, just... Wow. Just, like, welcoming to Pedalberg. Also, yeah, Pedalberg's music sounds absolutely... Like... I keep saying absolutely, but... It, it's really relaxing. It's like a, a calmness to your adventure. You know, because you just saw this dragon, now you're on this epic adventure with uh, an, with this uh, epic, upbeat music on Petal Meadows uh, to get you pumped up and excited. And then when you get here, it's like, you know, a nice little relaxation before you get into more battling and whatnot and heading towards the, uh, the fortress. Also using... Uh, he's thinking of running for mayor. Oh, so Koops does have some competition. Okay, so I actually... Cause when I originally when I played Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, I like the last previous times I never used Tattle a lot on uh on like any NPCs. But ever since like watching uh Trevor Conroy's Let's Play of Paper Mario sixty four, I began doing that with Paper Mario sixty four myself because I was playing along. I even played ahead, and uh, I hundred percented it for the first time. Absolutely loved replaying Paper Mario sixty four. Uh, and I did actually use Todd a lot more to, and uh, talked a lot more with a lot of the NPCs to see uh, any funny things that would occur. And yeah, I think I'm going to do this more with the remake. Take my time with it. Enjoy all the NPCs that are around. We're getting... Okay, so it actually shows off where you are. Uh, so we're in Rogueport, the west of Rogueport. And I wonder how this is going to work now, the uh, Lotto. Also, I love how the dog guys now have like their own unique voices as well. I love that these guys are back. I always thought they had their hands in their pocket, though. Although I could be wrong. I could just be misremembering how their sprites looked. So it appears that that... Oh, yeah. So I I just remember about this till now, but... The uh, bad shop sellers in 64 are the only dog guys that, uh, I'm going to call them dog guys because they're, they're dogs, but uh, they're the only ones that appear in the Mushroom Kingdom, and nobody wonders where they're from, and this answers where they're from. They are from, likely have come from Rogueport. Because there's nobody else in the Mushroom Kingdom that's like that. I kind of wish they gave them back sprites too, because like sometimes they're just walking like up and down and like while facing the uh, like while facing the camera at all times. 
It would have been cool to get them back sprites as well, but, you know, you can't do that to everybody. Gotta give it to only to our main cast. So let's see how the lottery works here. Uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna have the same sort of uh, thing where it's actually rigged, or if it's actually gonna be an actual lottery. Uh, I'm gonna guess that there is some sort of riggedness to it, because obviously if the age rating did increase, because lottery is a form of gambling, so... The happy lottery, the happy lucky lottery board. I wonder if there's the cheating part as well, like where he blows up and gets angry that you cheated and like skip days and whatnot. But I don't know if it's uh, still going to be there. <laughs> I like the additional sound effects that they given. Please become more organized. Oh yeah, so apparently, oh we got Hugtail Castle music too. I love the lighting coming out. You can actually see, like, the dust particles as well. Oh, the Shine Sprite makes, like, a nice little, like, animation afterwards. And Mario has, like, a much more, uh, like, key, like, an actual inserting a key animation there. And also, we're getting unique, uh, versions similar to the Origami King of ba the battle theme. So, yeah, like, we're in Hooktail's Castle. There is an entirely new battle theme, and I don't know why they use multi-bounce on a spiky Goomba. See, we're getting our unique renditions and whatnot of uh, battle themes, depending on the area, much like the Origami King, so uh, I honestly can't wait to hear, like, the Glitz Pit version or Twilight Town. I feel like they would have some pretty... For Twilight Town, I could see some, like, more uh, dark, ominous feeling to it. Uh, my com only complaint so far, I feel like a sweet treat, because the throwing, it doesn't have like a throwing sound effect to it anymore. Like, you, whoop, whoop, whoop. like it just like, doesn't feel as, uh, like, as you are throwing it as much. You, the sound, I do like the sound effect of the crystal stars themselves. So our first look at, at, uh, Flurry's place, and there's Puniar, for, uh, there. And yeah, saving there is automatically. You don't have to click yes or no. Uh, it's just automatic, and it's really, really quick. So the first time we're hearing a flurry speak. Oh boy, we're gonna get the the flurry kissing scene in the remake. So the disco ball coming down too. Oh, wow, I like that. It just shows off every little light, how it's spinning around. Oh yeah, and they yeah they gave each character their own specific theme. There's one for Koops as well. Kumbella has one, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, this is Flurry's. I think Flurry's already had one. And now it's no longer like she's kissing his shoes. It looks like he, she's kissing his like cheek. Oh, I love that. I actually did not notice this. I don't know if this was in the original, but Puny's like light thing is like a little antenna. The color changes when he's knocked out. So yeah, shout out to Nintendo Life for that footage. Uh, I will link their video down below in the video, uh, th in this video. Uh, there is likely some more footage that we could see. So yeah, so Good Vibes Gaming uh, uh, as well. They've also uh, had hands on and also seeing that they're, they're saying that it's much better on the Switch. Uh, but yeah, I believe that is everything I wanted to point out. I know there's some people that are posting all over Twitter, some new findings, and also, there's a badge 
Uh, I let me check the website again. I might have missed it. Character is the field. Let's go back to the field, because I know that there's a badge that is called the Nostalgic Badge. I believe they have it in, like, an English one. I'm not sure if the Paper Mario website is also in English now, because I remember seeing this... Uh, Oh, there's the uh, badge guy, by the way, the little jester, but I remember seeing footage of the uh, badge shop in English, and uh, they found out that the name was, like, the Nostalgia Badge or something like that, the Nostalgic M Melodies or something. And, uh, yeah, so it's like a GameCube, it's only one coin, and it allows you to listen to the original soundtrack, if you want, instead of the uh, modern one. So you could get the best of both worlds that way. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, I'm actually going to see if any who posted it. That way I get like a better idea. I think I could go on Reese's uh, Twitter. I think he's been going over it. I will have a link to everybody's Twitters down in the description below. So uh, let me go search that up real quick. Okay, there we go. Reese has been posting left and right. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, so yeah, 30 FPS, uh, it's confirmed. Uh, but honestly, I don't really care. Like, I feel like they'll have a way to fix it. Uh, there's a lot of quality of life changes... So yeah, again, there's additional stuff. The event battle music is... It was definitely a track that's mixed. I personally liked it, but it looks... It sounds way better in the remake. But I personally like the event uh, music. I love the the xylophone. The for, the, for that part of it. It's uh, really clever. Also, yeah, directional hammering. This is going to be really useful, especially in the narrow... Uh, like doorways of thousand year door uh because like sometimes there'll be an enemy right above you like right over here and you're right here in front of them and you can't hammer them at that angle so it's really really nice that uh <laughs> that that was added and uh yeah he added a, a sticker star joke someone uh made that a meme if <laughs> nintendo intelligence systems locked in uh Coops has a theme as well Honestly, very fitting for his character. It sounds like someone who's ready to, you know, stop being shy, finally prove to everybody in town that he's, that he's like, you know, a, ma a man. He's grown, and he's ready to save his dad and beat Hooktail. Uh, and then, you know, it helps his character development, because he does want to also become mayor of Petalburg as well. Uh, let's see here. Oh, Ian Fom Fumis. There we go. This is the guy's name. I knew it was something like that, because I know it started with an I. There we go. Okay, so now we hear the beginning of the uh, event battle theme. Oh, I love that beginning. For the event battle. It's just amazing. So you're finding the gold fuzzy here. I love the little sounds that they make when they're talking as well. They really gave, like, everybody, like, a perfect sound for each of them. Uh, so, yeah, file select is much like the original. So, yeah, I guess you're going to have to name your files as well. So, that's awesome. And the title screen actually fills out the more you meet characters. So, uh, I'm guessing you start off with just Mario, and after you get Goombella, and after Chapter 1, you'll have, like, Mario... Goombella, Koops, Peach, and Bowser, and Cammy, and so on and so forth. That's really cool. Fast travel is confirmed. There is a better uh, travel uh, blue pipe system, as we can see here. Arlo's pointing it out, but yeah, clue here again. Uh, they changed that, and apparently, uh, this is going to uh, harm. Uh, this is going to harm speedruns for this game. Uh, cause there is no way to skip the, uh, chapters like how in the original you could. See, Arlo does point out here that fast travel is confirmed as he retweets it. So, updated quick travel pipes. So, yeah, fast travel is confirmed. Uh, base 
inventory has been increased from 10 to 15. We got an additional 5. So I'm guessing that when we get the upgradable pouch, it'll be like 30, if I had to guess. Uh, this is from Mazyoshi. So we got more concept art here as well. I'm guessing this is for the uh, Sanctum. Uh, this is... Uh, oh, wait, this might be from Hooktail's Castle. Yeah, it's Hooktail's Castle. I thought it was from... Uh, from somewhere else. Uh, we got Flavio singing. He's got a little, a little singing animation now. Very cute. Uh, uh, oh yeah, also you can now pose with this as well and it has like a... it changes the angle for that. It's really cool. I love the uh, new uh, details and, and uh, additions. And also, yeah, so yeah, the Punies ha uh, antennas do light up when they're in battle or when they're knocked... or... or lights or lights are out when they're knocked out so that's pretty cool it does remind me of pikmin <coughs> a bit more now because there it was a reference to pikmin but now it's even more so i love miss mouse's like her face covering she looks so cute here a lot more charm uh the atmosphere definitely look oh they darkened up it's like it's like a stormy cloud surrounding the top the tippy top of the, the castle really cool so yeah, Yoshi is confirmed to have his colors. Uh, it was confirmed. Oh yeah, and also the uh, Shine Sprite ranks are indeed back. Uh, let's see here. I missed out on a few more uh, new screenshots. So yeah, Yoshi does have new colors. We do have the descriptions as well. Pipe Zone, quick travel for all areas. Let's see a Fire Emblem Toad. Oh yeah, so here is 15 minutes of gameplay on Nintendo Duo. So this is a, I believe, a Latin American or Spanish speaking uh, uh, one. I will have that link down below as well. Still four save files, but you can have multiple depending on your, uh, well, since you have uh, different accounts. Okay, we already went over that. Ian Fumas. Uh, oh, Goombella's face here. She's like, you could tell that, that snarkiness, but also like, He's like, I ain't having your crap. Also, yeah, Grotus's line also changes. He doesn't call her uh, an airhead. He calls, he says, you're a nerd now. I mean, that's more fitting, honestly, because, like, why would you call Goombella dumb? Like, you know, she's a she's a bookworm. She's, you know, always reading books. She's always asking questions and, not, like, you know, exploring runes and whatnot. All right, let's scroll down a little further. Uh, we know Goombella's upgraded here, so... Apparently, so, uh, with the one of the pre-order bonuses, there, Goombella's headlight has a red band around it, but we don't see it here, even though she's upgraded at this point. So, I'm not sure if that's, like, for a max rank kind of thing, or if she, or if that was just a mistake by uh, the pre-orders. We do have the uh, badges. Extra badges in this little box. Okay, that is, a, that is a nice little addition. So, yeah, Nostalgic Tunes is the name of this. And uh, zero BP needed changes the background music to the original GameCube tracks. Really, really cool. Uh, really nice addition to it. We do have uh, a little tutorial here. So Battle Master. So yeah, that's the Battle Master. He gives you uh, tips and whatnot of what to use from leveling up, HP, FP, etc. Equipping badges. So definitely a good tutorial for anybody who's you know a little bit stuck or wants or is new to the game. Uh, new Toad in West Rogueport. Looks scared, so it might be a new side quest. So, yeah, we might be getting some new side quests. This might be, like, a Lost Toad or something. The W Emblem and Bluey. <laughs> so, yeah, we see Luigi's Adventure. Uh, he is in town. And Bluey's the fried, uh, ang the f fried angry, uh, blooper. So he was a regular looking blooper until he got fried and he's angry at Luigi for doing that. If you want that, want to find that jerk, give him a wallop for me. <laughs> oh, I love his angry face here. They definitely give a lot of the NPCs more personality as well. What? So Charlington is now a full on traveling merchant. Okay. And also Mario. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny how he, his head is like facing that way. Alright, so that appears to be it for this thread. So yeah, Charlington might fully be a traveling merchant. So he's not just in Rogueport, where you could see him every time you come back. He likely could appear 
every now and then in different locations. Which could be really useful, because you might be stuck somewhere, and, uh... Uh, you might be stuck somewhere, and you could use, uh a new item or something, because, like, you might be low on items, and he's right there. I'm like, oh, cool, we could buy some items here, since there's no shop nearby. Oh, okay. Uh, a Taff FX R to G. It's now described as sounding like frogs rather than crickets, which makes it more accurate to Japanese version, so, yeah. Uh, so, apparently, he do uh, Hooktail does not hate crickets. Uh, she hates frogs instead. Title screen, Fire Emblem Toad. Uh, let's see anything else. Oh, we are getting... So yeah, these were the well, some of the only uh, the earliest uh, concept arts for Thousand Year Door. Again, Koopy. Uh, oh, uh, younger Croup and his wife. Uh, someone compiled all the, uh, the Doom... Duplice uh, fan art. Oh, actually, no. Someone actually made drew this. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. So, yeah. Bulbulb, she was. She was in Yoshi's Island eggplant creature. So, yeah. A lot of stuff pulled from Paper Mario 64 that they're originally going to make flurry. Power block design remains the same. Fire Emblem Toad is back. Better fire... Yeah, fire breath timing is weird in the original Thousand Year Door. But luckily they fixed it. Oh yeah, here's the original screenshot of when people were finding out the uh, the game, the nostalgia badge. Uh, I think that's about it. Yeah, we do have Merlin's render as we pointed out. Oh yeah, also the pre-order bonus for GameStop Japan. Uh, yeah, America's not getting anything. It are, aren't. We're not. We're definitely not getting anything. So yeah, I think that's it. That is everything I wanted to show off for this Thousand Year Door analysis. Oh yeah, Nintendo World also has 15 minutes of gameplay. Oh okay, so yeah, this is the uh, Nintendo Duo World. So yeah, this is the. Uh, I believe they're from Latin America, or they could also be somewhere else. Okay, game provided by Nintendo. Okay, so they might be either Spain from Spain or France. Uh, that would be my guess. I apologize for butchering or uh, assuming. Uh, but yeah, they have 15 minutes of gameplay here, exploring Rogue Port and the battle system. Yeah, so here's the beginning. Oh, so there is no naming. Oh, damn. Aw, a little disappointed. Okay, so we do have the intro. Power para carry. I like how it zooms in now. Oh, he has a, a little animation for giving in the mail. That's so cool. I wonder if we're going to be getting the uh the 64 partners originally supposed to appear as cameos in Thousand Year Door in the remake. Because we do have Power Carry and we do have Bo who appears at the end, but we don't have any of the others like Umbario or uh Cooper, for example. Oh, uh, just love how cozy it sounds. Very homey. Definitely feels like a Mario Brothers home kind of sound. Oh, yeah, and we also do see the, uh, the 64 partners here. So, yeah, this is all added. This is the original map as well from 64. Also, Peach's Castle theme added for the, for the mail. And also, yeah, eventually exploring Rogueport itself. Not exploring, but going on to Rogueport. See the boat going through. I wish it was the sunset, like how it was uh, in the original. Okay, we have, do have some Hooktail Castle stuff here. Pedalberg again, sounds really good. I wonder if this guy still flirts. Okay, never mind. We do have the Moonstone. Oh, and the, the fuzzies drop down way quicker. Damn, they did not go fully over. I don't think it's... I think it's pretty hard to actually make it fully over. Uh, like, without falling to, like, the bottom part. Okay, so the, I think they are... It is from Spain. 
Uh, although I could be wrong. I could be French as well. This is definitely a Latin. Okay. Okay, so I think it is Spanish. Like Spaniard Spanish. Uh, we do have the Dull Bones and the Pink Bones fight here. Hooktail as well. Uh, we're, they're watching Peach shower naked. Okay. Uh... She does have her Mario Sunshine appearance still kept in. Really nice. Oh, wow, that's so cool. Look at the... The detailing is so cool here, because look, as she comes out of the shower, you can actually see her silhouette in the mirror. Well, it's not like a form. I guess maybe the mirror's like kind of dirty. I don't know. It could also just be like something, some sort of reflection. But still really cool. Really love the lighting here in uh, for tech. So yeah, they're keeping the gameplay the same for the, that. Perfecto. Oh, it actually gives you, like, a per amount of time you, you have to press it. Okay, we've already seen that Bowser gameplay. <laughs> I love how the, the X-Knots are fleeing. What? Oh, he has a little celebration as well, just because he's too big. That's pretty funny. Because, like, back then he would just walk towards the castle and then just, like, stand there ominously. Oh, yeah, they're all, like, looking around, like, watching the view. Wow, you could, like, literally see how it's floating up. That's so cool. Oh, they're giving a little bit more detail to the fight between uh, the Koopa Troll and uh, and Rockhawk now because uh, like it's not making it like a a stomp like they're actually like fighting much like how you see the uh, other enemy. Oh, the Pokies even have like a little like angry face to them now. Wow. Let's see more of Glitz Pit here or Glitz. Well, the Glitz Pit itself, but. Well, look at that carpeting, the lighting here. It looks very, like it looks like you're walking right into an arena or venue for like a sporting event. Oh, I love the uh, the holograms here. So yeah, this is the uh, battle tip toad. <laughs> I love how they they put the an X on the uh, eye. So yeah, it's giving you a, a chance to uh, counterattack. There's nostalgic tunes. Oh, wow, nice. So there's a quick path to chapter one. Oh, wait! These... Qu oh my god, there's even more quick pipes. So yeah, you could easily trap... Okay! That is really cool. So there's more than... You could go out of the sewers to Rogueport in just a quick pipe. So it makes going back to the Thousand Year Door even quicker than the original. That is really cool. Wow, okay. Uh, let me just go back there. Yeah, so not only is there one to each world, but we're also going to have pipes that will bring us to different parts of Rogueport, or maybe we might even get p p different pipes for different parts of uh, each world, well, each sec area. So, like, if we wanted to specifically go to Hooktail's Castle, there would be a quick, there would be a pipe for there specifically, or if we wanted to go to uh, P Petalburg, we'll go to that one instead. That is so cool. That is honestly really cool. Alright, is there anything else? So we are badge list. Got more concept art here. I'm guessing them leveling up Yoshi is gonna be with the uh yeah, the the ranks with the shine sprites. Be able to use mini eggs. So uh, I wonder with concept art and uh unlocking stuff overall, like with music. If since they said that it's tied with shine sprites and star pieces, if uh, there's more star pieces and st shine sprites to collect, so that's uh, something to think about. Either that, or they combine the two together. So if you get like three shine sprites, it unlocks more, and you could use it those same shine sprites on your partners. 
And uh, let's see the... Uh, oh, wow. That is so cool. I love how it unfolds like that, too. And, uh, yeah, this is just more of the regular trailer from the, uh, the direct. But, yeah, it, uh, the, overall, I am really excited, guys. This is looking absolutely amazing. We're, we, again, we are 28 days away, and I thought this, uh, this is an hour-long analysis. Oh, my God. But, uh, yeah, thank you all so much for tuning in. We've been going over every little detail as much as I could. Uh, if there is anything I missed out, I will probably not uh, make any more uh, analysis stuff unless there's some new trailer or uh, some more footage comes out. But yeah, this is amazing. Uh, I will probably be streaming the game, try to stream the game since it'll be after my college is finished for the year. Uh, but yeah, I will try streaming the game. It's not going to be a Let's Play. Well, maybe in the future I will make it a, a Let's Play, a remake of my Thousand Year Door Let's Play. But I think I have uh, a few games to remake, a few Let's Plays to remake before that. But anyways, love my videos, hit the like button, make sure to, subs to subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. Oh my god, my throat's getting pretty itchy, I need water. I've been talking for an hour now, and uh, not analyzing everything from the new footage and whatnot. So yeah, so love my videos, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. And we shall see you all for potentially more analysis, discussion, or even the eventual release date for Thousand Year Door. <sighs> this might be my long one of my longest videos ever, so... Yeah, stay tuned, and peace. Let me know how you guys feel about everything that's been revealed down below in the comments. Uh, and yeah, to, just let me know how excited you guys are for the game. Shill your hearts out. Anyways, peace. For real this time.